Hey guys, it's Andrew from Simo Apps, and today we are going to look at the Facebook SDK in Swift to be able to log in and use our Facebook login with our app. Now, if you look at the Facebook website as to how to implement this, you need to take everything, scrunch it up, and throw it in the trash. Yes and no. The Facebook website is a bit outdated with old Swift code and old ways of setting it up. So in this tutorial, I'm going to take you through the latest code and the latest setup guide, which isn't properly documented to get this set up on Facebook and going. So let's get into coding. Okay, so what you want to do first of all is create a new single view application in Xcode. Once you've done that, open up your terminal and navigate to it there we need to initiate Coca Pods. So we'll do pod in it to create our empty pod file. If you're not sure what Coca Pods is, check out our tutorial in the description below. Once you have that initiated, what you're going to have is you'll have a pod file here in your project directory. So open this up in your favorite text editor and we need to add the following two lines under our project name, which is pod for Firebase Facebook in my case. So do pod, Facebook core, and pod, Facebook login. These will be the CocoaPods libraries we'll use for the Swift Facebook SDK. Once you've that added that to your pod file, save your pod file, close it down, head back to your terminal, and do pod install. This is going to install all the Coca Pods to our project. Okay, now that our Coca Pods is installed, before we open up the project, you probably want to make sure they're fully up to date. So there's four we need to update. So we need to do pod update FB SDK core kit is the first one. And this is going to make sure we have the latest version of the Coca Pod library because I have had some troubles where it will download an older version and then the code won't actually work. So this might take up to five minutes to download. It took me a while. So just let that run through and that will install the latest update. Okay, now we've updated that. The next one is pod updates, Facebook core. Let that run through. And the next one is pod update FB SDK login kit. And finally, the last one is pod update Facebook login. Okay, now that's done, we can make sure we have the latest Facebook libraries. Otherwise, the app may not work. Now go to your project directory and open up the XC workspace file. Now with this open, we're going to follow the Facebook login for iOS, quick start. And there's a few things we need to do. So first of all, you can find the link for this in the description below. Otherwise it's in the URL here, or just simply Google Facebook login for iOS quick start. You need to be at developers.facebook.com. And if you haven't created an app, click create one here. I've already created one called Sealy Test. We can ignore step two because we've already set up our developer environment. For step three, we need to grab our bundle identifier. So from our app, go to the bundle identifier. Ours is cmu.firebase.facebook and you'll just want to put it in there, hit the save button, then just enable the single sign-on, it will be no. Click that, hit save. Step four, we need to go to our project info.plist. And if you right click on that and select open as and choose source code, we can see we've got some code here to copy. A quick hint is what you see on the screen isn't the whole thing. You need to scroll down to make sure you grab everything or in the top right hand corner, there's a copy code to clipboard button, which is hard to see. So just make sure you hit that, go to the very bottom here in between the two dictionary tags, paste the first one in, 
Then if you want to use any of the Facebook dialogues, such as login, share app invite, copy the second group of code for the plist file, which I just highly recommend doing. Finally, step 4b we can ignore because we're using a Swift libraries, we don't need to use the other linker flags. Step five, six, and so on. All this code is an objective C. So we're using Swift. And as I mentioned already, there are articles on the Facebook developer website on how to use Swift. However, they're all outdated with older versions of Swift code, or they're missing a few things, so they don't work at all. So just ignore that and follow the steps I'm gonna go through. So let's get into it. So first of all, head on to our app delegate.swift. On the top, go import Facebook core. Then in the application, did finish launching with options. We need to add SDK application delegate dot shared dot application. And one of them is going to be this application here did finish launching with options. For the application, we add application. And for did finish launching with options, we add launch options. Then we need to add one more function here. And this is going to be open URL. So if we type in open autocomplete, one of the items here for the methods will be application open URL. So double click on that to populate it out. And then simply add return SDK application delegate dot shared dot application. And one of the options here, which will probably be missing if you type it. So we'll just do application, then do brackets, app, open semicolon URL and comma options as options. It doesn't tend to autocomplete when you do it in return. However, if you create it as a separate line here, SDK application delegate dot shared dot application and so on, the correct autocompletion will come up for you to fill it in. So there are the two methods we need to add to our application delegate. And now we can create our Facebook login button. So to do that, head on over to our view controller. We're going to import Facebook core and also import Facebook login. Then in the view did load, it's quite simple. We do let login button equals login button. Blah, 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 blah. Login button, we do brackets. And in, in the read permissions, we're simply going to put read permissions and we're going to create an array and we'll just simply do public dot public profile. Then we'll do login button dot center equals view dot center. And then we'll do self dot view dot add to sub view and we'll add the login button to our view. That's the basics. Now let's run our application to see if the login button has been added correctly. Okay, so we've got our application here. We can see the button in the middle, continue to Facebook to log in. So if we hit that, it wants to use Facebook to log in, hit continue. It's going to load up the Facebook website. I've already logged in with it before. If you haven't, it's going to ask for your username and password. So I'm going to hit continue and we can see here it's logged into our application and we notice because it has our log out button. If we stop the application and rerun it, it will remember that we're already logged in with Facebook and it's going to show the login button straight away, as you can see here. So that's how you set up the Facebook login. Now let's go into adding a few more methods and also explaining the code a bit more. So you can actually tell if the login worked, if the user's logged in or logged out, what permissions the user has, and also how to get a unique identifier for the user. So heading back to our view controller, 
In this login button here, in the read permissions, we're just asking for access to the public profile. If you want to get access to photos and emails, you add it in here and the Facebook documentation for this is on the Facebook developers website as to what permissions you can actually ask for. Next up, in the view did load, we're going to do if let access token equals access token dot current. And if it gets in here, it means a user is already logged in with Facebook. So we do print user is already logged in. And we'll do print, we'll print out the access token to the console so we can actually see what it contains. Now, finally, we're going to add a protocol to our view controller, and that's going to be the Facebook login delegate. So we're going to do login button delegate, and that's a Facebook login button delegate. And that's going to make us add two methods to this view controller. The first one, if we go login button did complete login, we'll double click on that to auto complete it out. This method will run once the login has completed on the Facebook button. So we're going to do print user logged in. And finally, there is a number of results that could happen. The login could fail, the user could cancel the login, or the login could be successful. So we'll do a switch. The switch value is going to be results, and the pattern is going to have three items. So do dot failed. That means login failed. If it failed, we'll just print out the error to the console. We're going to get rid of this default case as an enumeration. We don't need to run it. And in failed, we're going to name the error just ERR. So we'll print out ERR to the console. Next up, we're going to create a case for cancelled. So that's if the login was cancelled. So we'll print cancelled to the console. And for the error, that needs to be left error. So make sure you adjust that. And finally, do case.success. And just going to get rid of all this order complete here. I'm going to add our own. So do let granted permissions. Do let declined permissions. And finally, we'll do let access token. And we'll do print success to the console if that worked. So these are the three possible states for the login result. The login can fail, we'll print out the error to the console. The login can be canceled, we'll print out canceled to the console. The login can be successful, in which case we'll print out success to the console. Um, remember to add a semicolon after the case. If it was successful, it will let us know what the granted permissions were that the user gave us access to what the declined permissions were, and what the access token is. So we might ask for permission to the user's public profile and email. They might only give us access to the public profile and decline access to the email. So do keep that in mind when developing your app. A user won't always give you all the permissions to, to their profile. And finally, we're going to do another function called login button did logout. And we're just going to print user logged out to the console. So all that will do is as soon as the user logs out, it's going to call this function and print the user did log out to the console. So let's run the app now with our extra functions. And let's take a look at the access token because that's the key thing to look at. Because what we'll see is every user has a unique Facebook ID and that's how you'll be able to identify them in your app. So first of all, we can see the app ran with the user already logged in. Back here in view did load, we added the check to see if the user's already logged in. So let's take a look at the console for that. So perfect. We can see here in our console, it printed out the user was already logged in. The access token has the app ID, an authentication token, the user ID, which is optional of the user ID. 
and also the permissions they gave us. So the main thing to take of note here is this user ID. If you're not using Firebase or anything else to manage your users and you're creating a custom database to manage your users, this is a unique identifier for a Facebook user. So you want to map this unique ID back in your database to an actual user profile. So my app might have a custom database with logins. One type of login would be Facebook login and it will map this user ID here which is Andrew Seely's Facebook profile to a user called Andrew Seely in your app. Okay, so there's one line of code which I missed, which is very important for these delegates to work or the protocol. And that is in our login button, we need to add login button dot delegate equals cell. So add that into your view did load, rerun the app. And then these functions log in button did complete login and login button did log out will work and I'll show you them working now. So now if we hit log out, we're going to log out of the app. You can see in the console here, user logged out has been printed. So this function was run. Next up, if we log in now, hit continue of Facebook, hit continue, we go continue. We can see user logged in success printed out to the console from the success case on login button did complete login. And if you want, you can grab the access token as well, which you can get the user ID from remember. So you can download the source code for this in the description below. All right, guys, now we've got the Facebook login set up in our app. You can see that was quite involved and there was quite a few moving parts everywhere. This is why even though you may not need it all the time, it's a good to have a rough idea to understand how Objective-C works, Swift works, and have some good Google food. Because for me to get that set up and going, it required all three of those skills. So it's good to be a rounded out developer at times in other technologies, code bases, or even just research to get it up and going. Because it did take me quite a bit to set it up for this tutorial. So you can download the source code in the description below. And if this helped you out, don't forget to like the video, subscribe, and leave any comments. See you guys later.